So silly season with the mackerel. Um, you've probably seen this before. I'm just gonna. You see what's happened here is the mackerel have rounded up the white bait. You can see the dark. You see how dark it is down there. That's the actual white bait. And then on occasion the mackerel will come in and I'll smash into those. As you can see, locals making the most of it. So it really is a, a bit of a spectacle. We're here at Hastings. Um, I just wanted to give you a rough idea of what I do uh, before I start lure fishing. I think we're going to move along the coast in a little bit. I've just popped down to see a couple of friends, see how they're getting on uh, as we come into darkness. But it really is, I'll send you back down there. Pretty spectacular. You can see it over there as well, pockets coming out here. And I don't think it really matters where you fish here, you're going to get a mackerel. You see them down there, it's a guy fishing with a bigger lure. They make it a bit harder. So, what we'll do, he's going to He's got feathers on there. I'll just chuck that in and we'll see how we get on. I'll show you it in real time. You can see them there, can't you? They're smashing them right over the wall. If I can't catch them there, I've got a problem. I'm just going to drop one of these down and see if we can get one. It's always a good bit, isn't it? The first time you come down, ready for the first cast, just checking out the water condition. There's some gulls working around there as well, which is interesting up at a point. Um, but I'm going to start off with a Pachenko. There's no particular reason uh, why I'd use a Pachenko. Maybe just to feel things out, get quite a good distance with this, see if there's any fish right here now. So. Uh, quite a short leader on that it's only a couple of foot but there you go water conditions I'm keeping the rod tip high for the Pachenko getting an idea of tide where well, that's moving occasionally drag across the top Right to the, I'm just bringing it right to the tip of the rod as well. You're amazed how many times you'll see a bass take it right at the last. You see the sun's coming up now. We've changed the lures. What I've done is I've put on uh, this Axia lure. Bright white. Uh, got a bit of daylight now, so 
having a little go with that. There are little pockets of there are little pockets of mackerel here. There's nets as well, gill nets out there, and the seals. I'm not feeling too confident. I'm not seeing any bass break the surface, but that said, it's good conditions here. Changing lures again to the zonk. The other one didn't catch within five casts. The zonk could be looking a bit like these mackerel I'm seeing. So it's quite exciting stuff last night for those mackerel, but I still course one a bass. And I spent a lot of last night before we came out today looking through Readily. Readily is an online magazine subscription. All the magazines, at least there's not one I can't find on Readily, are on an app on your phone or the tablet. So you just read through it in the normal way, you scroll through, but it's got all the magazines on there. Sea Angler, I've been looking through that. Not only are they the full copy of the magazine, but they're also back issues. And that is really interesting for me because I can search back, and yes, you can search. So you can type in a search word and find it on there. So for example, obviously I use bass. Um, I put bass into there, search through, scrolled through, and it's got all of those, well, you can see there, all the articles to do with bass. I love things like that. I've always loved magazines. And for me, this is gonna be a bit of a game changer because I can research individual names of fish, for example, uh, and it'll come up with all the magazines they're on, whether that's in Coast Magazine, the fishing magazines, they've got all sorts there. So it's really, really good. I don't do adverts on this channel for something I don't believe in or I don't use. I'm really pleased to be doing this Readly one because it is something that's really good. I hope that you'll get it actually. Just to look back at some of the old magazines for me has been worth its weight in gold. You can press buttons to zoom in, you can click on photographs and expand them, just like you read in a magazine. It's really good, really is worth it. They're doing a deal, there's a link underneath that you can click on. That'll give you two months for free. Two months of Readly for free and then $7.99 a month after. Tied a fly just up the line of the bent minnow the idea being that the bent minnow when retrieved will sort of drop down a half a foot under the water it will take that with it there's mackerel and there's possibly bass so hopefully a bass on that and a mackerel on that individually um, well the bass fishing not really coming off i wonder too much bait fish but for the mackerel so many mackerel shells We're on to day three now and the mackerel are still here. No joy today on the bass fishing but the mackerel still here. Look at this. Always tends to happen around about the middle of September. The end of July and August when they're on their summer holidays is peak mackerel time. It's good to see them a bit later in the year. And stop some people being greedy though. If you can't carry them back, you've taken too many. The sea is absolutely teeming with mackerel here. Um, they're coming up everywhere. On the walk to the mark, and even in front of us now, on occasion, the water will bubble and all the gulls were here. I've just scared all the, all the gulls were here, but I've just scared them off, obviously. But focus in, you can see the shoal there. Another one coming up over here. Part of the issue or part of the problem I have, I think, is there's too much bait fish in the water. You see the gulls just hovering over them there? The gulls are hover over those shoals. 
but is there too much bait fish? Now the bass won't be too far behind these mackerel, but they could also be eating uh, the white bait that the mackerel have stunned or pushed up on the beach and are floating around in the sea. Well, it's quite a spectacular sight to be honest, looking at all that. Look at that, beautiful. of lure boxes today so we have some options this is a um, this one here for instance is a bent minnow and that will replicate a mackerel actually or a large bait fish on the surface that flits around on the surface so that could be an option because what's happening is those mackerel are pushing into the the shoals and there's a few dying fish off the surface um, I haven't seen any bass there that's the problem and it's also tempting to have a little go for a mackerel maybe use a mackerel as a live bait um, and of course our zonks will replicate a mackerel as well um, so will something like the komomo here I think what we'll do, we'll tie in a, a little lure like this, a little metal, see if we can get a mackerel and I might... so we'll just flick out just a little metal lure See if there's any mackerel there. I think there is. Whether we'll catch. Oh, we've got a fish. <laughs> um. And come up to this vantage point. There's a deep pool in front of us. Good place to read the water. Good ambush point for the bass then is as these waves crush across the rocks here or just the other side of it. There was also a reef out there. Various big boulders so this could be anywhere. What's actually happening here I'll show you on the replay bass have come up to that big mackerel right in front of me there but it didn't take it i couldn't really film it without spooking the fish So the mackerel is no more frustrating, really frustrating to see that bass come up. Um, but what I've done now is I've put Pachenko on, which is a surface lure. Just going to vary the retrieve, it goes left, right, left, right. But there are fish here, I just don't think they're feeding frustratingly. Let's see if we can tempt one off the surface with the Pachenko. no bass but my mackerel friends plenty of them they were doing fine plenty of seagulls as well which is always a good sign and we're on to the fourth day now oh, I'm always tempted by a mackerel <laughs> I went home for tea I make no apologies of just showing some of this footage uh, we're on to the fourth day now of the mackerel being in you can see them breaking the surface there and they're after this white bait that they've rounded up right up onto the beach at high tide. In many ways it's easy to catch, but the mackerel have got the pick of the live bait here. And occasionally you'll see them break the surface there, top left, look. It really is a spectacle. Sometimes you just sort of sit back and watch it really. That's white bait in there. It's not sand eels, 
don't really get the sand eels in the number that they get them on the uh, down in Cornwall and Devon perhaps but here those mackerel pushing the white bait right up onto the beach and onto the shingle look <laughs> So thanks very much for watching, uh, we've got some bass catches coming up on the channel, I hope you will watch that, we've got some bass catches coming up on the channel from another venue. Well hopefully those mackerel will still be around for a few more weeks if the weather holds. Don't forget Reedley underneath that you can click on. That will give you two months for free. And then it's $7.99 uh, and you can cancel that at any time. But I hope you give that one a go. Click on the link underneath. Thanks very much for watching.